a long time normally i do this through video okay but i will do this one with uh, through the audio because of my time schedule so i pray that maybe from next week i'll find time to do the video yeah so i welcome you so i feel like finding time to continue this sudden inspiring work because it has been a long time we did it normally we do this every sunday so but for some time now we have not done it because of my academic schedule so if this is the first time you are coming to this channel please try and subscribe to the channel you shall be using the channel also during the october devotion so my name is father chris santos mario kechuku uguebo well known as father santos mario okay so our topic today is your tears can become an effective means of prayer i welcome you and i pray that your encounter today or what you hear today will be an instrument of solace an instrument of help and also consolation and encouragement to you there are times in life when we encounter difficulties when we encounter problems sometimes it seems that god is not answering our, our prayers sometimes people desert us sometimes people misunderstand us you know problems are many sometimes the only response to these problems are or the only response to this problem is through your tears through your tears you cry from morning till night you don't have any person to talk to you wet your be- your bed with tears so today i want you to channel these tears to the appropriate place so that your tears can become an effective means of prayer yes in the time of your darkest moments and seasons you feel like sometimes clean ourselves sometimes you fill our lives with regrets sometimes the only response is to cry you cry away your life cry away your tears cry away your past many people who are undergoing difficulties today have wet their base with tears we do not know what problem can cause to our psyche until you face one so there are times we often feel like killing ourselves in our, in our darkest moments as if God is nowhere to be found and when the problem comes to destroy us the only response is to cry and feel so depressed so I want to now help you to ask us to channel our tears to the appropriate quarters okay we cry every time when people desert us when every person deserts you in your lonely world, when you feel like you don't have any other help, maybe the only thing at hand may be to cry your, your heart out. We cry when people stab us at the back, when we lose our jobs, when we lose our loved ones, when problems and difficulties become our daily food. We cry when we fail. We cry when our spouse leave, leaves us, when we make mistakes, when we feel like we are nobody. When some people you trust now turn their backs on you. When people you think that are your friends now become the people who are your enemies. In the time of your loneliness. So sometimes the only response to this is to cry. It's very normal to cry in these distressing conditions. We cry when we face deep troubles and distress. But we can also make this cry a way to pray. Because these tears can also be powerful especially when we understand the type of heart that God has our God is full of mercy full of love full of compassion full of pity and if we understand the heart of Jesus we will always visit him with our tears so it is good to shed tears during the moment of your prayer so instead of wasting it anywhere cry bring that tears in God's presence one thing about prayer is that it is a spiritual encounter. So in that moment of your encounter with God, shed those tears there. Tears shed in God's presence are always powerful. If you want to cry, the best place to cry is in God's presence. Go to your altar. Go to the blessed sacrament. Go inside the church in front of a statue. Shed those tears there. Tell God about those accusations. Tell God about those lingering problems. Tell God about that betrayal. 
Tell God about that evil plan against you. Tell God about that setback. Tell God about the things that is keeping you worried. Tears stem from a feeling of deep inner sorrow. When the pain or brokenness is so great that the only way to articulate praying is through tears of sorrow and grief, the only thing is to cry your way out. When God notices our tears, He does not forsake them. God also takes account of them. In Psalm 56 verses 8 to 11, the psalmist says that, that every tear that David has cried, God has placed them in a bottle. It means that God takes account of our tears and deep sorrows. I want it to, to sink into us. There is no drop of water that has fallen from your eye that God has not seen. So Psalm 56 teaches us that God does not simply dismiss our tears or our pain. He doesn't acknowledge it and then moves on. No. God records them. He keeps records of them. He makes your tears personal. This is who our God is. So if you must cry, go to his presence. This doesn't mean that he does not see every, you everywhere you are crying or maybe when you are passing through moments of distress. God is everywhere. Okay? God can still see your tears. My main point today is that we have to make these tears a prayer. Yes, you can make it a prayer. And when you make it a prayer, it is always powerful. It's a very powerful weapon of prayer if you understand it. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 10 and 17, where Hannah wept bitterly in the presence of God in the temple of the Lord, God noticed and came to her rescue. When Hagar lifted her voice in the wilderness of Beersheba, God drew near to her in Genesis 1, 17. So no matter your pain, let God know about it. God neither slumbers or sleeps. In Luke 6, 21, God says, Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh at last. Therefore, when he notices your tears, it also means that a time to wipe away your tears is coming. Remember that a few hours before Jesus Christ was betrayed, tried, beaten, and crucified, he told his disciples, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn to joy. Remember also in Luke 7:13, when Jesus joined a crowd outside the town of Nain, he met a widow weeping over her son's body. Immediately, without any request, Jesus had compassion on her. We also remember also, before Jesus fed the crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Now, if Jesus can pity the crowd, just because they look tired, how much more can he do to someone who weeps in his presence? If Jesus can help the, the widow of Nain, who did not even request any miracle from Jesus, but Jesus, because of her tears, came to her rescue, how much more will Jesus do to someone who come to his presence? So tears shed in God's presence are always very powerful upon our prayer unless that situation is for a reason god does not forsake our tears especially when we do it because of our relationship with him we develop that inner relationship with god and your love for him and also when you bring your tears before him therefore beloved visit the best sacrament look at him with love cry all your tears there cry all of them there it is very more it is more powerful than wasting your tears elsewhere stop dying in regrets stop killing yourself in worry carry your tears to god's presence he understands us more than than anybody so i pray that god be with you as you listen to this message and may he save you from every challenge that may come your way i pray that with his grace you must surely overcome May God be with you and I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. If you listen to this message and you like it and want to be hearing such messages every Sunday, please try and subscribe to the channel. God bless you. This is Father Santos Mario.